The install script language is very easy to learn and it's also very readable. There are some aspects of Visual Basic and C Sharp that you will recognize. However, install script does not provide the full range of programming functionality that C does. It was designed to create installations and it does that very well. There are a lot of examples in the Install Shield help, so if you get stuck on something, it's pretty easy to find help. Also, Acresso maintains several forums online where you can go and ask questions of other users. Acresso personnel monitor these boards and offer people help every day, so you're really never without some kind of help when you run into problems. And you can also email me if you have questions uh, anytime. I don't mind answering. So let's have a look at the install script language. This is an example of the smallest possible script. You just have an include, a function on begin, a begin and an end statement. And you could compile this installation and run it. Wouldn't do much, but you could do it. <laughs> As I mentioned, the install script syntax is similar to C, C++, and C Sharp. Here are the data types in install script. We have string, number, int, short, long, which is a four byte int. We have bool, boolean, care, lipster, handle to a window, pointer, list, structure, and array. You can also have constants in install script. Here's an example of how you would define them. It's pretty much like the C definition. Here are some operators. You have the add, subtract, multiply, divide. This is a special operator. It's the append to path operator, the caret sign. And you put this between two strings that you are uh, concatenating when you build a path. So, for example, we've talked about the use of target dir before. You could um, I have a statement that said uh, path equals target dir, caret sign, uh, double quote, backslash, file name dot text, uh, close double quote. And it will intelligently put the path together with the right amount of slashes or backslashes. Now, when you reference a string table entry in your script, you need to use the at sign. When the install script compiler sees this, it will know that what comes after it is a string table entry. Here's an example of some comparisons and operators. Now, what is different than C is that you do not use a double equal sign for the logical equal. You just say if value is equal to one, then. But uh, here, if value one is equal to one and value two is equal to two, so you use the double ampersand sign for a logical and. And likewise, on the OR, you use a double uh, vertical bar for OR. So it seems kind of funny that they wouldn't have had a double equal sign for the logical OR, but they chose not to. Now, functions. Here's an example of a function. Uh, when you create your own function in the install script language, you have to create a function prototype. You put this up at the beginning of the file. And um, you put in the data type of the variables that you're passing. So here's our prototype. Here's our actual function declaration. We're passing a value one, a text one, text two, and they are a number, 
string and string respectively. This one's passed by reference. And you put your code for the function between the begin and end blocks, or the begin and end statements. And then you have your statements in your script. Um, notice that all the statements in a script end with a semicolon, just like in C. And for example, if you needed uh, some variables declared for the function, you could put them here between the begin statement and the functional declaration. You don't put them after begin. That doesn't, that doesn't work. Now, if you want to pass a value to a function and you want to pass by value, you just include the variable data type in the function prototype. So here we're declaring that we're passing a number variable, and here we're using that variable. Here we're passing by reference. In the function prototype, we put the data type, but we also put the by ref operator or modifier, however you want to refer to it, in front of the variable data type. And then the function looks the same. So the by ref is taken care of in the prototype, not in the function declaration itself. Here's an example of an if statement. If something then, else, and if. So that's pretty similar to C. Here's an example of switch statements. Switch value, case one, case two, and then a default case, so you have switch, in switch. That should look familiar, here's comments. For loops. It's pretty easy, you just say for value one equals one to 10, the variable, the increment, or the range, one to 10, you do something, and here's the end for. You can also do a while loop, while well, value one is less than 10, value one equals value one plus one, and then end while. That's how that works. In the end, the very best way to learn install script is like with any other programming language, you just have to use it.